it's it's tough to say. I mean, definitely, um, you know, it's not great uh, picture for tennis to have something like this involved because it, uh, you know, you know, transferred to the to the whole world because we are in that this kind of a time where uh, you know we are you know expecting when is this COVID gonna stop and we are still you know keep going at it, keep going, and so um, you know, but in general most important for tennis is what happens on the court, uh, on, the, on the tennis court. Um, and so uh, we had uh, such a great success in these last 10, 15 years uh, on, the, on the men's tour and also WTA tour. So tennis evolved incredibly. And, you know, now with the new generation, new guys getting in, now with uh, Roger, Rafa, Novak in this uh, battle, who's gonna, you know, get 21st uh, Grand Slam or if they, so it's, I think just uh, incredible time in general for tennis. So I believe, you know, in the end, uh, it's gonna tennis is gonna still stay strong and, and be positive with everything. Um, you know, for me personally, you know, it's difficult to uh, judge anything because I don't have, you know, the full. We all don't have the full information about his case and it's difficult to constructively uh, say something objectively and, and uh, you know the Australian government should have or should have not you know decided that's uh, earlier or, or not you know that's uh, on their own uh, you know their their own decision but uh, looking at the situation it's definitely incredible that this happened the way it did especially to Novak that he got here that you know this is still going on so uh, you know, definitely feeling very sorry for him and, you know, hope that this, this is going to be resolved uh, very soon.